Previously on the bill. Why did you put in a transfer to come to this station? You're not like other cops. I'm not. Do we have an FLO yet? We'll just pass the course with flying colours. Be an early chance for him to use his skills. You read the situation and you acted on your instincts. Well done. Sarge, you got sick. It's about the off license case yesterday. Have you got the witness statements? Yeah, mine, please. Thanks. There you go, cappuccino, one sugar, that's Thanks. right, isn't it? Sarge, no biscotti for me. Honey, Reg. Morning, Sarge. Oh, Beth, can't worry with you about that car. Please see no ball. Come a coffee break already. You really are on these good books, isn't it? It wasn't my idea. Look, Sarge, I don't suppose. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> you don't know what I was going to say. Yes, I do. I'm psychic. You were the day off from Sergeant Stone, didn't you? There's just something about him that bugs me. Oh, come on, Sarge, you know what I mean. Look, I can't change the post, things. Well, look on the bright side. You've got a cup of coffee out of it. Well, I don't even like cappuccino. PC Fletcher, you fit? Yep. Excellent. Take those. We've got a misput. Chloe Parks, age 16. Reported missing 10 minutes ago, but apparently seem to think she's been gone since last night. Well, they didn't notice. Apparently not. Mr. Parks? Yes. I'm Sergeant Smith. This is PC Fletcher from Sun Hill. We're about your daughter going missing. That's right. Do you want to come in? You haven't heard from Chloe since you called the station, no? No, no, nothing at all. And it's not like you to go missing like this. OK. Well, we're going to need to take some details. Just somewhere we can talk. Yeah, of course. Come through. Yeah, my wife Karen, she's upstairs. Yeah, Chloe's our only one. Uh, she went out last night at about half past eight. She went to Polly's. Polly's? It's a friend. She lives over the road, number seven. And that's Polly? Oh, sorry. Polly Dewar. So when Chloe didn't come back last night, you just thought she was still over at her friend's? Yeah, yeah. I mean, she stays there a lot. It's her best friend. But when she didn't come back this morning to get her school clothes, I rang her mobile, but it went straight to voicemail. So that's when I rang Julie, Polly's mum, and she said that she hadn't been there. She didn't go around at all last night. Thanks. So has Chloe ever gone off like this before, you know, without telling you where she is? No, no. She's always really sensible, always tells her where she's going, who she's with. So this is out of character? Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. Mrs. Parks? Yeah, she knows better than to go off like this, causing all this fuss. You didn't have a round last night, did you, by chance? Anything that could have made her go off without telling you where she was going? No, nothing like that. Have you checked her room to see if she's taken any clothes or, you know, left a note? Yeah, I did, I did, yeah. I had a look, but I didn't see anything. Except that I don't think a purse is there and she usually keeps it on her desk. Well, will you go and have a look and then check with number seven, please? Sergeant. Have you got a recent photograph of her? Well, the school won't be okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. She's probably just gone straight to school without telling us. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. It's just better to be safe, though. So what school did she go to? Deansgate Comprehensive. Martin tried ringing, but they were engaged. Well, we'll try and get through for you, all right? This was taken, uh, taken just a few months ago. I'll make sure that this gets back to you. Right. Try not to worry. Usually in these cases, there's a very simple explanation. We understand from Chloe's parents that she was due round here last night to spend some time with Polly. That's what Martin said when he rang this morning, but she never came. We'd have heard if she'd rung the bell. Is Polly indoors? No, sorry, she's gone to school. No, we may need to speak to her later. What do you think's happened? To Chloe, I mean. Well, we don't know anything's happened yet. She may have just gone somewhere without telling anyone. Thanks for your time, Mrs. Duval, yeah? Sarge? Anything? No, Polly's at school and Chloe never showed last night. OK, well, let's talk to her friends, see if they've got any idea where she might be. All units from 54. Request attention to a missing child, Chloe Jane Parks. 16 years old, 5 foot 3, with blonde curly shoulder length hair. Wearing blue denim jeans and jacket, blue blouse, white trainers missing from Hadley Street, 8.30 last night. Over. Another one the parents can't control. Yeah. Thank you, Mr Blake. What about our little darlings? Recognise any of Blake's descriptions? Oh yeah, they're much about 95% of the kids around here. Bored, aggressive and unpleasant, just like his own. Not a family. Of Blake's, no. Not exactly. Spent too much time dealing with complaints about his kids to get wound up when the boot's on the other foot. What goes around, comes around. Must have missed the initiative on karmic policing. Well, just telling you like it is, Sarge. Will you be able to relate to that? Me? 
Oh, sure. What do you say? Once around the block, right there off? Ooh, for my money, once around the block, he's overdoing it. Can't make police here. Right there. She definitely hasn't registered today. Is she usually good at attendance? Yeah, although she has been a bit less punctual since the start of term. Is there any particular reason for that? <laughs> She's 16. You could swim in the hormones around here. Uh, 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 walk, please. So how is she as a student? You're a year tutor, right? She's pretty good on the whole. She's well liked. Her grades have been above average. When she concentrates, she's bright, lively, interested. And when she doesn't? The, the usual sulky, distracted, lazy. Like I said, the hormones. You'll go through it. I wouldn't say she's any worse than the others. Okay. Go on. I don't know where she is. I've never seen her. So she didn't say she was coming over to yours last night? No. Sergeant Smith, this is Polly. Hello. When was the last time you saw or spoke to her? I don't know. I saw her yesterday afternoon, I suppose. What sort of mood was she in? I don't know. Just normal. Polly, can you think of anywhere else that Chloe might have gone rather than come over to see you? Um, no, no. It was a school night. Um, Martin, her dad, wouldn't have wanted her going out. We don't go out on school nights. But it's all right to come over and see you. Yeah, we, we've always done that since we were little. Is she, um. Do you think she's all right? And something like this is usually just a mix up of some sort, all right? But what would be really helpful is if you could give me the names of her other friends at school. Think you could do that? I suppose. Good girl. Sierra Oscar 30 from Sierra Oscar. Report of a body at the Hughes Hospital on Malkin Road. Informant is a Mr. Chalice. Can you deal? Over. Do you want to take it, Sarge? Sierra Oscar from 483, show us dealing. All received, over. Over there. I'll check it out, Dory. Sierra Oscar from 30, assign another unit to the scene. I have a dead IC1 female matching 54's previous Miss Per, Chloe Parks. Seal off the main gate and only let the necessary people in, yeah? Tony, uh, check all the buildings for obvious access points and seal off the bottom of that fire escape. I don't want anybody getting up there until forensics clear. Gotcha. Keep your eyes peeled for anything she might have left or dropped up. Hey, need some ask, do I? Not really. Dog walker found her when his dog slipped away from him. She was obviously dead, that's why I requested the FME. You see him reporting that paramedic stamping and I haven't seen. I've got an ID? Not confirmed, but she matches a Miss Perth from early this morning. Smithy and Will Fletcher are dealing. They're coming down with a photo. Oh, you think she jumped? Maybe. For that age, it's usually pills or wrists where they want to top themselves. Still, if it was that, such a waste. Hmm. Well, it's an odd place to come. Yeah, but there's no on site security, so anyone can get in. Okay. I'm gonna get forensics and get CSM down here. No DI? No, Sam's in with the DCI. Strategy meeting. A recent one we're done here. So you get to run it? Time being. Yeah. Any exit? It's easy enough to get through the chambers bust. Ah, Rich. Get up the fire escape and join Tony. We'll do so. I suppose you could probably carry a body through there if you wanted to. Any idea how many people have been through? Just me and the guy that found it that I know of. Okay. Great. <sighs> okay. Listen, I'm gonna have a little wonder. Can you give me a call when the FME arrives? Sure. Any idea how long she's been there? 
Well, if it's the same girl, she was reported missing this morning, but she's been gone since last night, so any time since then. Okay, is the pathologist here yet? Jacobs, yeah, got here five minutes ago. Send him the long way round. Thank you, he's got size 12 feet. I'll go and take a look, then we can decide on a strategy. How are you doing? Yeah, just getting set up. You get a photo of Clay Parks? Uh, yeah, I've given it to Will and he's taking it around to show the FME. Uh, anything from the parents? Well, she was a nice girl from a decent family. A regular teenager with no obvious problems. And I got the same from my friends at school. Yeah, last scene? About 8.30 last night. She told her dad she was going to go and see a friend across the street. They just assumed she spent the night. They didn't really worry about it until this morning. No reason to jump. Not so far. Nothing here either. No bag, no note. It wouldn't be too hard to push somebody over that if you wanted to. Yeah. I'm not sure whether that makes it better or worse. Yes, that's her. No doubt about it. What did the FME say? Cause of death is probably trauma resulting from the fall, but he doesn't want to say for certain. There's also bruising around her wrist, which might be consistent with being restrained, but... Didn't want to commit himself to the PM. When do they ever? It's a long way down. Thanks. Nice looking girl. Yeah, the family's gonna take it quite hard. She's an only child. How'd you get on with it? Jesus. Okay. Yes. Yeah, well, the suits are gonna need a family liaison officer. You've met the parents, you started a relationship. A good one for you to take further. You haven't done a liaison on her death yet. Well, I don't know, Sarge. What if it turns out to be murder? All the more reason for you to get experience. You can really plod all your life, do you? You put your training to use and you get the experience. I'll back you up if you need it, which you want. Yeah? Okay. I'll speak to DS2. Sarge? This is Chloe's dad, Martin. Oh, sir. I'm Detective Sergeant Turner, son on CID. Have you found her? Uh, is there somewhere we can go and talk? Is she all right? Please, just tell me what's happened. Uh, well, I'm afraid I've got some bad news, Mr Parks. We found the body of a girl we believe to be Chloe at the old hospital on Malkin Road this morning. Are you sure that it's Chloe? Yeah, I'm afraid so. We used the photograph that you gave to Sergeant Smith to identify the body. Martin, have you... Is it Chloe? Karen Love. No. No, it can't be. You can come in, you know. Yeah, it feels a bit odd. Pokemon and all that private stuff. But it can't stay private anymore. No, it just feels like she could walk in here at any time. Not this time. Looks like she left her phone behind. No sign of a note. No note, no diaries, nothing. Just homework, as far as I can see. We'll have to get the IT bots to take the computer, check it for emails. So was there any reason why Chloe might go to that building? Did she know it? No, of course not. Had she been worried about anything? No, nothing. Well, wait a minute, what, are, you, are you saying that she went there on purpose? But the, the, that she killed herself? <laughs> oh, was that a possibility, do you think? No, no, it's not. No way, she wouldn't do that. She just wouldn't do anything like that. Listen, I'm sorry, we have to investigate every possibility. Will will be your family liaison officer. He'll be your link to the investigation. I'm here to answer any questions you may have and keep you up to speed with developments. I'll also need to find out as much information as I can about Clay from you. Right. Excuse me. I found a computer. I found this. It's switched off. Anything else? There's no note, nothing out of the ordinary. 
Looks like she was neater than most, but that's all. Okay. So let's get back and set up an incident room. See if Sam and the DCI are out of their strategy meeting. She came home from school at about four o'clock. She did her homework, had her dinner, and then went out again at about half past eight to a friend's house, but she never turned up. So how far between the two houses? It's about 100 yards, Gov. Oh, well, the chances of being abducted in that distance are pretty small. Yeah. Right, go back to the school, talk to Polly again. And anyone who can tell you what sort of a girl she was, you know who she hung out with, you know the school. Gov. Right, what about the scene of crime? Uh, yes, Gov. Lorna's filed her preliminary report. Now, there's nothing to indicate that the body was carried there, and her injuries are consistent with a fall from the building. A fall or a push? There's no sign of a suicide note, and her parents say it's out of the question. She had no reason to kill herself. Do you go along with that? Well, first impressions, yes, Gov. The FME said that there was some bruising to the wrist, which could be from being restrained, and her purse is missing. A pink suede purse. Not at the scene, not at the house. Any sign of a sexual assault? Not so far. She's fully dressed, and it doesn't look as if anyone's disturbed her clothing, either. What about a mobile? Does she own one? It was in a room, switched off. It's a bit odd, isn't it? Most teenagers need surgery to separate them from their phone. Maybe the battery was flat. I've sent it over to forensics to be checked out. Well, well the bruising would indicate a restraint or a struggle. So sort of things went too far and she either fell or she was pushed from as far as go. Mm. I'd like to know what she was doing in the building in the first place. I mean, it isn't exactly the sort of place you go poking around after dark unless you have a reason. Now, that could be anything. It could be drugs, sex, meeting somebody. So, before it gets cold, we need to find out what she was doing and who she was with after she left the house. You want me to take a look at the scene before they move her body? Yeah, see if Lorna can give us anything else. And I'll get the ball rolling here. We think when she left the house, she had a pink suede purse with her. Is there any sign of it? No one's reported it. I can make a search of the approach, right? Thank you, that will be really useful. By the way, Stuart said it was you that suggested Will Fletcher as FLO. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't fancy it for yourself. I just thought we could use the experience. Is there a problem? No, 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 it's fine. I just wondered. Just about done here, Sosh. No, you're not. We're nearly ready to move the body. Do you want to have a closer look, please? Excuse us. Right. Have you been through these pockets? Yeah. One pound seventy-three pence in change, a comb, a packet of chewing gum, and an old shopping list. Is that it? Well, you wouldn't find much more if you went through my pockets. We did find this syringe, though, about a yard from her body. Is it hers? It looks old, but I can't say till we print it. I might have something for you in the time of death, though. See here? The ground underneath her is dry, around her is damp. I checked last night's weather, and there was a light shower just after 11. So she was here before it starts to rain? Looks like it. It might help you pin down the time of death until the PM. Absolutely. Lorna, what do you reckon? Did she fall, was she pushed, or did she jump? I wouldn't have thought it was accidental. The railings on the fire escape are reasonably high, and people who fall accidentally usually go straight down. She's a few feet out. What about suicide? Well, if she intended to jump, I'd have expected her to be more in the centre. Of course, that doesn't rule it out, but to my mind, it's not a typical suicide, especially not for a teenage female. I can't believe you don't know what happened. Well, we're still trying to find out where she might have gone or who she was with last night. It's, it, it's terrible news. I, I'm not sure if I should say this, but uh, after you left earlier, you, Chloe's name came up in the staff room. In what context? One or two of the staff thought she might have been gaining a bit of a reputation with boys. You mean being promiscuous? Uh, yeah. Any of these rumours about any particular boys? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. Uh, although... Go on. Well, the only thing that was said was about a boy called Ben. Ben Jackson. Um, one of the staff overheard a bit of teasing. Something about Ben fancying Chloe but not being up to it. And Ben was on the receiving end of this teasing? Yeah. I I've seen them together a couple of times, Ben and Chloe. Uh, is Ben in school today? I, I don't know. He's the year above Chloe. I could check. That'd be great. So what did you do after tea? Washed up and then Chloe went to her room. She asked me to wash a pair of jeans for her before I went to work. The jeans don't matter. What time did you leave for work? Uh, just before seven. I worked four hours seven till eleven at the petrol station on Fenton Street. I thought you'd have had enough of working behind the counter after a day's work here. It's Carol's job that keeps this place going. Business not doing so well. We break even, that's about it. We used to do all right, and then that superstar opened on the trading estate a couple of years ago. People go there because they think it's cheap, but what they don't realise is that they get things cheap because most of the stuff's rubbish. They don't. Sorry. It's okay. 
So what time did you go to do the books? I don't know. <clears throat> well, as soon as Karen had gone out, so I suppose about seven o'clock and then about half past eight, I heard Chloe shout from the stairs. Do you remember what she said exactly? No, not exactly. Along the lines of, Dad, is it okay if I go to police? Like just something along the lines of, okay. See you later. Did you expect to see her back? I didn't really think about it. It's just something you say, isn't it? See you later. Oh, I can't believe it. Sometimes he sounds a bit stroppy, but he doesn't mean it. It's fine. It must be difficult for both of you. It's completely understandable. He was very protective of Chloe. Maybe too much sometimes. How do you mean? Just I remember being Chloe's age. You need to break out a bit. Do your own thing. And Martin wouldn't let her. He just wanted her to be safe. We both did. And that... What do you do? What can you do when all they want is to go out and have fun and all you want is for them to be all right? It's always the thing that you're afraid of most. But you never think it'll happen to you. So what do you do when it does? thinks the time of death was sometime before 11 or 11.15 because that's when it rained and the ground underneath the body here is bone dry. Well, that helps a bit. Anything else? Well, unofficially, she doesn't think it was suicide. Thanks. Thank you. And from what she told me, neither do I. Also, Gov, there was a used syringe found near the body, but it might not be connected. Mm. Any sign of the purse? No, no, not yet. Uniform, we're organising a search. Governor, complete the checks on Chloe. Have you got anything? Yeah, in June she was done for nicking 20 quid from a chemist on Ward Road. She had a Saturday job there. Was she charged? No, just recorded. Our old man went down there, but the governor didn't want to press any charges. But then in August, she was done for underage drinking at the Rat and Crown Colby Street. It was Colby Street. Uh, there. She got a penalty notice. Well, we Will didn't report any of this from the parents. Maybe they didn't want to give us the wrong impression. I don't know. This could give us a handle on it. Check it out. Find out why she took the money and why the guy didn't take any action. Yeah. Yeah, if you'd stay with Sergeant Stone today, you'd probably be on and have a coffee break by now. I think I'll survive. Ben, I'm Sergeant Smith. This is PC Noble. We'd like to ask you a few questions about Chloe Parks, if that's all right. I take it you heard about her being found dead this morning. Let's take a seat and talk about it. Eh? How well did you know Chloe? I just knew her. You were friends? Yeah. Girlfriend and boyfriend? No. I just used to help her with work. Did you ever go out with Chloe, just as friends? No. When was the last time that you saw her? Yesterday. What time? I don't know. Lunchtime. We were in the library. How did she seem to you? What kind of mood was she in? She seemed okay. She said Miss Russell was giving her a hard time in French. She didn't like languages. Why do you want to know about this? We're just trying to paint a picture of what Chloe did yesterday, help us work out how she died. So can you think of anyone that she might have gone to see after school last night? No. I didn't know her other friends. They're all your 11s. So how come you and Chloe were friends if she was the year below you? We just got talking one day. One more thing. Um, how did Chloe get on with the other boys? How do you mean? Well, did she have a boyfriend? Or was she the kind of girl that would, you know, flirt with different lads? Maybe take it further? No. She wasn't like that. 
You seem pretty sure. OK, Ben. Thanks for your time. Mum, yes. Tony and Diana are still at the school interviewing Chloe's classmates. Anything? Nothing concrete, except her you two at the time with her, her school work's not been as good as it used to be lately. Did she give you any reasons? Not directly, but apparently there's rumours in school that Chloe's been sleeping about. Are these just rumours or is it true? I'm not sure, but I did get the impression it was a fairly new development. I couldn't get anything specific, but I did speak to one lad, Ben Jackson, and he said that she was just not like that. Right, well, the change in behaviour might mean something. Thank you, Smithy. Mum. Go. Yes. Why don't you take a look at this? This is CCTV taken from a camera on Collett Street at 2042 last night. Who are we looking at? There. That could be her. It's not very clear, though. Yeah, hold on a sec. Where is it? That's her. And uh, the clothes she's wearing match the parents' description of what she was wearing when she went out last night. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. What about this index? I can't read it, can you? No. But there are other cameras in the area. We could get it from one of them if we track it back. OK, let's get on to it and let the DCI know. Whoever was in this car is the last person we know of to see her alive. He's giving five to one against for suicide. Even's on a fall and three to one on murder if you're interested. Ah, oh, come on, don't pretend you've never had a flutter. In your job or mine, if you don't have something to take your mind off it. Yeah. Not one of that age, eh? What's your money on? Me? I never bet before the PM. If I find drugs or alcohol, it throws the odds right out. Listen, tell the DI I'll be able to cover the rundown just as soon as we get the things collated. Hold it. From the Parks' shop to Collett Street is a ten minute walk, maybe less. So if she went straight there, it would fit in with her leaving at 8.30. So what was she doing there? Well, Gov, Collett Street used to have a few toms working the corners. What if she was trying to make some extra pocket money? I mean, that could tie in with a syringe at the scene, give us a drugs angle. That doesn't feel right to me. Uh, she's, she's hardly dressed for soliciting. No, I agree. Even an amateur would know you'd have to wear less clothes than that. She could have been buying drugs, I can see that. Yeah, but why did she get in the car? Why didn't she just do the deal through the window? No, I think she knew whoever was in that car. Well, if she did know, she would have had to arrange to meet them. Have we got anything else on the calls made to her phone? Yeah, it's pay as you go. £1.16 credit. She sent a text at 18.22 to someone called Shaz, but nothing about meeting and no other calls. Well, let's check the landline to her house, and then let's get some extra bodies on this CCTV. See if we can find out what happened to the car when it left Collette Street. If there's any indication of where it ended up. Okay. Go. Right, the PM will be starting soon. Mm. I'll see if the pathologist can give us anything else. Oh, yeah, see if, uh, see if Will can find out anything about Chloe's change of behaviour recently. And let's push on that car, cos I think that could give us something. I'm sorry I have to do this, Martin. I need you to identify this person as being your daughter, Chloe. Yes. to give you a few minutes. You've got to find them. Who did this to her? You've got to find them. How'd you get on with the theft? Sorry, do you want one of these? Not on a full stomach, thanks. Um, Chloe worked at a chemist for the past three months, just on Saturdays. Now, the owner noticed that the till was down, so he kept an eye on her, and then one Saturday, he caught her pinching 20 quid out of till. So why not prosecute? Well, Martin Parks, her dad, is friends with the owner. Uh, they're on the trading committee together. I guess they didn't want to prosecute to avoid embarrassment. But, uh... All right. Thank you. So we've got theft, we've got underage drinking, we've got her schoolwork not being as good as it used to be, and apparently she's been sleeping around. Well, if you put it like that, it doesn't seem so odd why she didn't tell her parents about where she was going last night. She could have been up to anything. Well, Will's going to be talking to Polly DeWall. Maybe she'll be able to shed some light on what she was really up to. Oh. Told you. Polly. Do you mind if I... Yeah, um... Look, I'll just be in the living room, all right, sweetheart? Uh, sorry, I've got to ask you some more questions. Just we found some more things out about Chloe. As soon as you were our best friend, I thought you might be able to help. Do you want to sit down? 
What sort of things? Did you know Chloe had been in trouble recently? Yeah. Did she talk about it? A bit. Not much. Why not? I thought you were best friends. She, um... We... We'd had a row a few weeks ago. What was it about? It was the way she was acting. The things she was doing. She started being a real bitch over nothing. We always used to do everything together. Then she started playing up to the boys, flirting, you know. And then it was more than that. She started to get a reputation. People saying she was a slut. When I tried to tell her what they were saying, she just said I was jealous and stuck up. Well, that can't have been nice. Did you stop being friends after that? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. If she saw me at school or coming home, she, she just blanked me. It was horrible. I mean, it, it wasn't like her. She, she was never like that. I don't understand what happened to her. I don't know why she started being like that. I never did anything to her. <laughs> Just give me a minute, yeah? You all right? Sorry. Just miss her. Look, I've just got a couple more questions I want to ask, and then I'll be off, OK? Yeah. You don't remember any of the boys' names that she was seeing, do you? I mean, there wasn't any in particular that you know of. Only one, I suppose. Uh, a boy called Ben. I saw him talking a couple of times outside school. You don't remember his surname, do you? Jackson. He was a year above us. That's my card. Now give me a ring if you think of anything, okay? Okay. She wasn't like they said. Not really. This is her. The real Chloe. We made this last year on her dad's camera. I burned it onto DVD. You'll see what she was really like. I'll make sure you get this back, okay? Okay. Basically, Polly was telling me that her and Chloe had had a fallout a couple of weeks ago and weren't talking. I would say, reading between the lines, Chloe had outgrown Polly a lot bit. So you didn't get anything new? Yeah, apparently Chloe was seeing a Ben Jackson. Stuart, didn't Smithy talk to a Ben Jackson at school earlier? Yeah, yeah, he said that uh, Ben and Chloe were friends and he helped her with her homework. I ran his name through Chris, and it turns out that he was arrested for assault a couple of years ago at school. He was being bullied, decided to hit back. The guy fell over and hit his head on the floor. Still pretty violent, though. Mickey, check Ben Jackson's number against calls made from Chloe's house and her mobile. Anything else for me? What's this? This is a homemade DVD by Polly and Chloe. I thought it might be worth taking a look. Yeah, OK. Well, get your log up to date first. What time are you going back to the parents? I said I'd call in a couple of hours. OK, that's fine. Guff, there's been a call from the Parks' landline at 2017 to Ben Jackson's mobile. The call lasted for 23 seconds. 2017? Right. Call to Ben Jackson. Probably puts a bit of lippy on, a bit of perfume, tells her dad she's going to Polly's at 8.30. We pick her up at 20.42 on the CCTV on Collett Street. Gav, I think it's a bit stronger than that. The CCTV from a camera around the corner from Collett Street clearly shows the index of the car that Chloe got into. That's registered to a Simon Jackson of 48 Wellston Street. Same surname as Ben Jackson. Well, that can't be a coincidence, can it? OK, I want you both to pull all the evidence together while I go and check this out. Mr. Jackson? Yes? Detective Inspector Nixon, Sunhill Police. What can I do for you? We're investigating the death of Chloe Parks. She's a pupil at Deansgate, a friend of your son's. What? I mean, was she? I'm sorry, I'd... I haven't heard anything about it. Ben didn't mention it. What? I mean, he spoke to one of our officers at school earlier. No? No, he didn't say anything. You two, coming off the road. Is Ben home? He's up in his room. Do you mind if I have a quick word? There's a couple of questions I need to ask him. Come 
Hi, Hi. movies. Yes, yeah, Chloe and her best mate. I'm getting on with the family. Not bad. All right, I've got a few things to do before I get back and check out on them. You took the dad down to ID the body. How'd he take it? Oh, not good. He's adamant that Chloe didn't kill herself, though. Well, he might be right about that. The CSM wasn't convinced either. You said the last time you saw or spoke to Chloe was yesterday afternoon at school. Is that right? Yeah. You understand the seriousness of this investigation, don't you? I'm asking because we found out that Chloe called you on your mobile last night. You didn't mention that earlier. I forgot. So she did call you. What was it about? Just schoolwork. I see. Did you go out at all last night? Listen, what's this about? If Ben's going to answer questions, I think I should know what's going on. Are you accusing him of something? Where was your car between 7 and 12 last night, Mr Jackson? Why do you want to know? Did you take the car, Ben? Where did you go? Just... Just out. To see Chloe? Wait a minute. Ben, don't say anything else. Look, what is going on? What's he got to do with this girl? I think I want to talk to someone. I want to talk to a solicitor. You're free to consult whoever you like, Mr Jackson. But as far as Ben's concerned, he's 17, so it'll be up to him. What do you mean? Because of what you've told me, Ben. I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. Dad, can we go outside to play? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questions Dad. something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Call custody. Tell them we're on our way. PM affirmed a close time of death at between 22.30 and half past midnight, consistent with a fall from a high price. She did have sex before she died, but the DNA results won't be back for a while. Consensual? Well, there's no evidence of force, but we can't rule it out. So what about the used syringe they found near her body? There were no injection marks on the body, no fingerprints on the syringe, so I think it was just litter. So what about this Ben Jackson? Well, he admitted going out in the car last night, but his father stepped in. That's why I arrested him. 17. Yeah. I told him he needed a solicitor and he opted for the duty brief. He's in there with him now. Have you got somebody checking the house and car? Uh, yes, yeah, Stuart. And Lorna's with him. Do you, do you want to take over the interview? No, no, no. Looks like you're well on top of it. I'm going to talk to the superintendent and tell him what's been going on. There's already been some press interest, so I'll, I'll need to know where we're up to. Keep it by the book. Yes, go. So Chloe rang you and arranged to meet on Collette Street, is that right? Yeah. Why didn't you pick her up at home? She didn't want me to. She didn't want her parents to know where she was going. Then what? Where did you go? You must have gone somewhere. To a pub. Which pub? It's called The Boat. I don't know the name of the road it's on. And how long were you there? About an hour. Just talking, you know. Then Chloe said she'd better get back, so... I drove her and then I went home. You drove her home? Not all the way. I dropped her a couple of streets away on the corner of Siam Road. Right, what time was this? About 10 o'clock. And then she went home, as far as you know? Yeah. Why didn't you tell us all this before? Uh, I didn't want people to get the wrong idea. About what? That she was your girlfriend? Uh, no, we were just friends. We just to talk about things, that's all. So you met Chloe. You went for a drink. You dropped her near her house at about 10 o'clock and that was the last you saw of her? Yeah. Okay. This was under the passenger seat, down the side. Right, anything else? Long blonde hairs in the back seat. There could be a match for Chloe, but we won't know until we get back. I'm going to have the car lifted and taken to the examination unit. OK. Thanks. Mr Jackson. Recognise this? No, I don't know whose that is. You didn't know it was there? No. OK. We need to finish up here, then I'm going to have to search Ben's room. And I'll just take a statement from you about last night, that's all right. This is the end of Sign Road. 
is where Ben Clangley dropped Chloe off. 21 56. That's Chloe there, look. Can't see her face. Oh, a second, this is Moria. Well, that's definitely Ben. Yeah. I mean, I can get this enhanced, but I reckon there's enough to go on there. You know? Can you show me where this is on the map? Yeah. Um, Sion Road is uh, here. Chloe's house is here. Right. Not very close. There's only CCTV between the two. There's no local authority cameras. There may be some private cameras on. Right. Gov, found this at the Jackson's house. It was in the car. Nothing to identify, but that matches the description of Chloe's purse. Yes, it does. Anything else? Yeah, there were some long blonde hairs in the back seat. Now, they could come from Chloe. So, it looks like we found out whoever she had sex with last night. Take this back to Will at the Parks' house. Get them to make a positive ID as soon as you can. I want to get back in with Ben before his brief says he needs a sleep period. Do you think just because they had sex in the back of the car, that gives him motive for murder? Well, it depends whether she went along with it or not. If she didn't, yeah, it's the best motive in the world. OK, let's get this timeline together. Is there any news? Should I wake Karen up? No, I don't understand. Martin, have you seen this before? It's Chloe's. Are you sure? It is, I'm sure. Where was it? We found it in a car. A car? Whose car? Martin, please. Please, just tell me. Have you found out who killed her? Look, we're interviewing someone, but it's far too early to tell. But you think you did it? Martin, I'm sorry, I can't tell you anymore. Look, we're unlikely to get any more news before tomorrow. I'll pop around first day and give you an update, OK? Yeah, OK. You know, these photographs... They don't do her justice. If you could have met her, she was so... She was so... alive. You've got a temper, haven't you, Ben? No. So what was it that put David Lincoln in hospital two years ago? It wasn't my fault, he tripped. He tried to bully you, didn't he, and there was some... Pushing and shoving, and then, then you pushed him back, and, and he fell and cracked his head open. Is that what happened? Well, then he got what he deserved. Maybe, yeah. What about Chloe? Did she get what she deserved, too? I don't know what you mean. For the benefit of the tape, I'm showing Ben exhibits ST5-7. to seven. These are photographs, Ben, taken from a CCTV camera on the Scion Road. That's your father's car. This is you. This is Chloe. Now, it looks to me here like you're arguing. What was going on? I don't want to talk about it. Why not? All right, then. We'll change the subject. Where did you have sex with Chloe? Because you did have sex with her, didn't you? Was it in the back of your father's car? You've got it all wrong. Have I? Will you tell me what really happened? Nothing! Nothing like you think. I'll tell you what I think. I think Chloe agreed to go for a drink with you and you tried to take things further. I think you made a pass at her and when she didn't cooperate, you lost your temper and you forced her. After all, she's having sex with every other boy in the school, so why not you? No, it wasn't like that. So why is she running away from you in this picture? She was upset. Yeah, because of what you did to her. No! Was she going to talk to somebody, Ben? Was she going to go and talk to the police? Is that why you took her to that building? No! Is that why you pushed her off the fire escape? No, I didn't! I I think you did. I think you raped Chloe. I think you killed her no, so that she I couldn't tell anyone what her. happened. It must have been someone else! <laughs> Tom, Every teenager wants to be a pop star, right? Yeah, if they live long enough. Yeah. It's getting late. We should call it a night. I'm going to watch the rest of this. Okay. He's a 
said I was daddy's little girl. <laughs> I don't want him to do it again. Close your eyes, give me your hand again. Do you feel my heart beating? Do you understand? Do you feel the same? Or am I only dreaming? Next time on The Bill. It's not my fault. Obviously this abuse puts a different slant on Chloe's home life. We need to establish whether Martin Parks is a suspect. I didn't kill her. Well, that might be true, but you're the last person to see her alive. Sarge. I'll handle this. I don't want to talk to anybody. Really.